I do follow the recommended burn, uh, I guess settings. What is it settings? No, this isn't an electronic device. Hi friends, it's the weekend and you know what that means. It means that it is time for me to deliver you some candle content. Yes, I love beauty, but I also love home fragrance and I like to give you guys some opinions about some of the candles that I have been burning in my home. If you are new to my channel, my name is Katie and I hope you will check out some of my other content. And if you like it, stick around, hit that subscribe button. So today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Homeworks, what is this? Strawberry glazed cupcake. And my lights might be a little bit bright and reflect off of there. I'm sorry if that happens. This is the standard four wick, 18 ounce jars. Uh, typical with the chrome lid. Mine probably has a bunch of fingerprints on it. And um, this was part of a bunch of new spring slash summer releases that dropped, I want to say maybe two or three, well, probably three weeks ago now that I think about it, on quote unquote National Fragrance Day. These were all on sale for like $20 each with free shipping and then I was able to stack it with some influencer codes. So um, I figured why not use this as a chance to pick up some new candles. And uh, this one was one of many <laughs> that I picked up and I got to burning it right away because I wanted to give you guys a good review on this. So like I said, this is the Homeworks Strawberry Glazed Cupcake. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you guys um, some insight here. I want to love strawberry scents, but if I'm 100% honest, they're not like my favorite fruity scent, if that makes sense. Um, my favorite scent when it comes to fruits is I generally will gravitate toward lemon. I will gravitate toward orange. Um, I like some of the more like island type of scents, especially in the summertime. I definitely gravitate towards coconut. Strawberry is a little bit finicky for me. And if you, um, if you saw my review on the banana berry smoothie, I'll link that up in the cards and in the description box down below if you missed that one. I don't know if it's something with my nose post having had um, the virus. I don't know if my sniffer is off or whatnot, but I just have not enjoyed strawberry scents like I always did before. So I don't know if that's what's off or whatnot. However, I will say that this scent has actually been my favorite strawberry scent that I have smelled recently. So the notes on this one are uh, sweet strawberries, vanilla cupcake, coconut cream, and whipped buttercream. And that's honestly why I picked up this one. There was also another strawberry scent. I wanna say it's like strawberry milkshake. And I actually did not pick that one up just because of my experience with the banana berry smoothie. Um, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that review. Um, something about the scent, I'm picking up a sour note. And so I was concerned that a dairy note like mixed with strawberry that I was going to have the same experience. So I didn't pick it up. Um, but this one did appeal to me because there was, um, it says that coconut cream and the whipped buttercream and vanilla cupcake. I thought, okay, that sounds like something that I would like because I tend to like gourmand scents. And I thought, well, this would mix fruit and gourmand together. So when you open this, you definitely smell those sweet strawberries. It's not the strawberry that was in like, what was that strawberry patch or whatnot. It, it's, there's no green note to it. This is definitely sweet strawberries. I don't pick up any coconut. I do not really so much on cold, but when this burns, I do smell that cupcake note, a little bit of buttercream, but it's definitely, it's a good strawberry scent. Um, so I was very pleased when I smelled it on cold sniff. So, how did it burn for me? All right, the positives. It's burning very cleanly for me. You see there's no soot. I do follow the recommended burn guide for my Homeworks candles, which is typically uh, three, no more than four hours of burn time. Uh, the wicks I have noticed do get a little bit of that mushroom top going on after burning around that time. So you definitely don't want your licks, licks wicks to be falling over. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long week, you guys. I have honestly have not been feeling the greatest this week and um, I'm finally feeling a little bit better today, but clearly I haven't been talking to a lot of people because my speech is having issues. Anyways, you want to make sure that you follow those burning guidelines because A, you don't want your candles to get so hot that the wax pool gets so deep that then your wicks 
fall over and you want to know that because guess what? These wicks, I'm having issues like a lot of the other people have been mentioning in the homeworks group about some of these spring releases having wicks that are falling over into the wax pool. Um, yeah, I, I have experienced that. I will go ahead and pop up a picture because I did take a picture after the second burn of what happened to one of the wicks. Um, it started to float and fall over. Now, granted, it did not have a huge mushroom top on it, so I don't know what is going on with these wicks. I'll post the picture up here. Now, I was able to correct it when I lit it again and was able to stand it back up and move it back into place. Um, so you will see this is after my most recent burn. I have now burned this candle five times, uh, three hours each time. So that's about an equivalent of 15 hours. I do like to burn my candles almost to the halfway point. I am in the same uh, train of thought as Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom. I feel like I want to get a couple of burns through on this to really give an accurate um, assessment for you. So that way you can make an informed decision about these candles. All right, so it's burning cleanly. It pulls out beautifully, but the wicks, I'm kind of having some issues just with that one wick in particular. Let's talk about the strength and throw. So the strength on this candle, it's not very strong. I would say maybe about a five. Um, I can generally smell it here in my living room. Now, if you're new here, my home is a 1700 square foot uh, single story ranch style home. Uh, it is a more open concept. In fact, I'm sitting in my living room right now and if I were to pan, I'm gonna go ahead and try to pan the camera up so you can see. I have very high ceilings in the living room. I'm sorry if that made any of you sick. And it's funny, I keep looking over here to the left because I am actually, um, I record on my iPhone and I don't have a viewfinder and so I have to screen mirror it over onto my television over here to make sure I'm still in frame and I am, yay. This candle has been performing very similarly to a lot of the other spring releases that have come out, which has honestly disappointed me a little bit because I know that I can probably let this sit a little bit longer and it will gain some strength. In fact, I bought two of these candles, so I haven't even taken out the other one out of the packaging. It's just sitting in the closet right now. And I hope that it will develop some strength. But like I have said before, these candles retail for $30. I should not have to let them sit and cure a little bit longer in order for them to uh, perform to my expectations. So. The strength is about a five. Throw, I would say, is also about a five. Um, I can smell it pretty well here in my living room. I cannot smell it when I'm in my master bedroom. I cannot smell it when I go into my kids' rooms. Um, can't really smell it that much in the kitchen. It pretty much just likes to stay in my living room, which, once again, there's high ceilings in here. So if you live in a home that has lower ceilings or maybe in an apartment, uh, you might get a little bit better performance from this. I do not own a hurricane. I do know that um, some people, in order to increase the throw and strength of their candles, they will place their Homeworks candles into a hurricane. Um, but I have also heard from other reviewers that uh, the issue with that is that sometimes it gets a little too hot, the wax pool intensifies too much, and like I said earlier, then the um, wicks fall over into the wax pool. This candle is currently sold out on the homeworks.shop website, but just this morning I saw posted in the homeworks group that this is slated to be released with a pedestal on the QVC website. By the time I put this video up, it may already be up there. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I got this review out to you in case you were thinking about purchasing this one. So the positives. The scent is good. I, I do like it. The scent is like a beautiful strawberry cupcake. Um, I don't get any coconut in there. So if you are somebody who is averse to that and you're thinking that you don't want to pick it up because you've seen that coconut nut, coconut note, don't let that scare you. The strength and throw, eh, could be a lot better. But the biggest thing that I want to say caution about with this is that I have been having some wick issues with this. Now, mind you, again, like I said, I don't burn my candles longer than three to three and a half hours. So I should not be having that issue. And that issue with the wick kind of traveling on me happened only after the second burn. So 
Be aware of that, be cautious. I love Homeworks candles and I will continue to purchase them even though I've been having some strength and throw issues recently and even some of the wicks have been giving me issues recently because like I said earlier, I do trust that um, Harry Slatkin and his team at Homeworks do listen to feedback and that they will uh, try to correct this situation. Um, but I also say don't pay full price for them because honestly, they are always on sale. Like the homeworks.shop website runs sales on them. Once they move over to QVC, eh, you might get a sale here and there. You might get some free shipping, but the truth is if you're interested in these candles, try to pick them up when they launch on the dot shop website, because you're likely to get a better, uh, value on them. However, the only thing that I will caution you is that all sales are final from the dot shop website whereas if you purchase through qvc uh you can return the candle if it's not your scent or you don't like the way that it burns um so those are kind of some things that you can weigh let me know in the comments down below if you picked up this candle and if you are having a similar experience to mine i would be really curious to know also let me know if there are some other candles that you purchased during that candle uh, i want to say like candle day haul it wasn't candle day it was like national fragrance day let me know if you picked up any candles and if you are enjoying any of those new products that you picked up once again, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button because it really helps me out. I want to say thank you so much for spending your time here with me today and stay tuned because tomorrow I am also going to be reviewing another uh, new Homeworks launch and that one is doing a little bit better for me. So until then, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.